everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm working on these kind of shoulders of the greenhouse roof today. And by shoulders, I mean one. I'm just going to do one a day because I need to open it all up, close it all up before it rains or anything because we are making it exposed to the elements. The trick uh, today has been that uh, these areas where these caps had been are really perfect uh, nesting sites for hornets. And there were a lot of hornet nests. I knew that they were in there. Uh, there was one way up at the top over there. Uh, first thing this morning, hornets are always uh, more lethargic when it's cool out. So first thing in the morning, I unscrewed these things, took them down when the hornets were kind of groggy and uh, took a long stick. I've got this, this long stick on the ground over here. It's a 16 foot long stick that's about one inch wide. And I use it for knocking down hornet nests because you know, it keeps me 16 feet away from them. So I, I got those down and I've been working on it today. But then, you know, midway through I found, I opened up the, the tarp here, which is temporarily kind of covering up this uh, top vent window, which is really great because it's really letting all the heat out of this greenhouse. And the greenhouses are just getting way too hot. They're like 130 degrees up at the top. And by like, I mean, it might even be more than that. So I got this down and uh, I was kind of working next to it, trying to stay away from that top area. And while I was doing it, I kind of noticed, see if I can get it. Yeah, can I get it visible for you guys? I found that I was like right up. That, Okay, well, yeah, there's one up there, two up there. One, two, and then now I'm noticing there's another one down here. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot of hornet nests. So I'm just trying to stay away from them. Fortunately, they've been kind of leaving me alone. I haven't been stung at all, so that's nice. Um, what I'm doing now is uh, uh, trying to get these things back on. I was able to put these uh, cap pieces on. If you recall, I'll move you guys a little bit. If you recall the other day, I was staining some boards. These are the boards, or some of the boards that I was staining. I got these guys on. They're just just the right height to uh, drop the, uh, this is called Denver trim. I don't know why, it was invented in Denver. Uh, they're just the right height to drop the Denver trim, uh, just where it needs to be. I've got some holes over here, and the plan is I'm gonna screw these guys back down in there, and then I wanna get some silicone glue. Once the thing's secured, I'm gonna pull it up, put some silicone glue under the, uh, the edge over here, and then screw that thing down. I've got dents in them. You can't just drive a screw through, uh, through metal without some kind of a dent. So I took a, a, a nail and a hammer and, and made dents where, uh, where I want to put all the screws through because the screws have to go in under the support beams under here and there at specific space, uh, spaces. So I'm nearly done with this. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna do one of these a day and um, the next step after that is to really finish off those vent areas. Like I said, these greenhouses get super, super hot. It's not good for the chickens because even when they go in at the end of the day, it's still hot. They're all like, you know, it's not great for them. Uh, also, it's really hard to keep the house cool inside because you get these 130, 140, maybe even hotter than that, like earmuffs on the side of the house. Uh, they were designed to try to keep the house warm in the winter and boy, are they doing a good job of that same job in the summertime. So once I can get these uh, vents up here openable um, and operable, and I'll talk about those in another video, it'll really make it so much more comfortable in the house. The house is, it, it's too hot in the house. It's, it's not comfortable in there right now, but uh, you know, find a problem, solve it, find a problem, solve it. Uh, and, the, and the more times you make houses, the, the less problems you have every single time. So this isn't too bad, um, but, uh, but yeah, I wanna, I wanted to get these vents done, but before that, I needed to finish this thing. And the sun's back again, and it's hot, and I should start working on these because these things get really hot in the sun. I'm trying to keep them in the shade, but I'm not working with them. That's it. Thanks for watching.